Well, you would think environmentalists would be enthusiastic over a plan in Washington state to significantly lower the pollutants they believe are behind the climate change. But as Fox News' Dan Springer reports from Seattle, in this particular case, the enthusiasm is a lot different than you would expect. Lauren and Nicole, good morning. Environmentalists have been preaching for years that the best way to reduce carbon emissions is to tax all the activity that produces it. They blame fossil fuels for every perceived change in the world's climate. So the economist who wrote the ballot initiative was stunned when the biggest critics turned out to be so-called green groups. Putting a price on carbon is the single most important thing that we can do to tackle climate change. The $25 a ton tax would add 25 cents to every gallon of gas, increase airfares, and raise utility bills, costing $2 billion a year. But the initiative aims to be revenue neutral by cutting the state sales tax 1% and lowering taxes for working families and many businesses. A similar system has been in place in British Columbia for eight years. The result? 16% drop in carbon emissions, no major hit on the economy, and overwhelming popular support. But in the Evergreen state, nearly all the powerful green groups and their left-leaning allies oppose the measure because it doesn't fund more government spending. It's not only about reducing carbon, it's about how we do it. And developing the kind of clean energy economy we need. The one group to break ranks with its longtime cohorts, the Audubon Society. I think for us, I-732 isn't about money. It really is about what are those market-based incentives that will drive people to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Critics say this rift exposes hypocrisy and a dirty little secret that most environmental groups are more concerned about growing the size of the government than actually helping the environment. Lauren, Nicole, back to you. Dan Springer, thank you so much.